Hello everyone, welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. I'm gonna tell you guys something funny before we get into this video. My mom and dad swung by just a minute ago. My mom said, golly, Sam, you're really sweating. It's hot, it's hot here in Southeast Louisiana. But let's get into the topic. I told you guys, I would show you a way to create your own fertilizers. So if you haven't already seen the video, we have one out on how to make a comfrey fertilizer that'll cover your potassium needs for the entire season, okay? Now we're talking about NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. So your comfrey fertilizer will cover your potassium needs for your garden. But how do you cover your nitrogen and your phosphorus? Well guys, strap it in, because we're fixing to go deep. Okay, so what we have in this bucket right here you guys ready because it's gonna stink this my friends is rabbit urine and rabbit manure now the rabbit manure just like kind of falls into the buckets as you're collecting your rabbit urine so yes i collect rabbit urine in a bucket this size if you are cage raising meat rabbits they go to the bathroom in the cage in the same spot almost every single time. If you spend enough time in your rabbitry, you'll notice on your cage some white crusting. That is where they're backing up to urinate. So you can literally put a bucket under that area about a foot out and it will be able to collect urine. It doesn't take long and you'll have a bucket about this size. Now, every now and then, you're gonna get some manure in there. See, it's not very much, it's really just on the top floating. It's not a problem. Rabbit manure has a higher NPK than any other manure available. I just had this conversation with another local farmer the other day. He said, you just can't beat cow manure. I said, actually you can. It's called rabbit manure. You can use it cold. It's higher in NPK than any other manure available. And it has micronutrients. You're just not gonna find in cow manure. So you can beat every manure on the block with rabbit manure. So it's okay that when I was collecting my urine, I got some rabbit manure in there. Basically, it's gonna make my foliar spray that much better, okay? Now, what you're gonna want to do with your rabbit urine, it's going to need to be diluted, guys. If you are going to use it as a pest deterrent, you're going to need to water it three to one, okay? Make it a little stronger, three to one. So three cups of water to one cup of rabbit urine. Three liters of water to one liter of rabbit urine. Three gallons of water to one gallon, I mean three gallons of water to one gallon of rabbit urine. Now, if you're gonna use it as a nitrogen booster, you can do it five to one. Same concept, five gallons of water, one gallon of rabbit urine, okay? Now, when you're using rabbit urine, you're going to need to spray in the evenings after the sun has begun to start going down. You need to give your plants a full eight hours to 10 hours to absorb, absorb it through their leaves and their stems and their fruits before the sun comes back out or you will burn your plants badly, okay? Rabbit urine is extremely high in nitrogen. Like, when I tell people that I grow a quarter acre of food with no commercial fertilizers, pesticides, or fungicides, I mean it. I grew that food using what I had on hand and rabbit urine was my pest deterrent as well as my nitrogen fertilizer. It is amazing. Go back in our playlist, look at the video Four months into our no-till garden on compacted clay soil, I had squash plants so big and so green, people could not believe it. And I'm like, rabbit urine. Like every single week, every single week, my plants go through foliar sprays. One day, they're gonna get a worm casting foliar spray because that is an armor. It's gonna help keep them healthy, keep them strong and deter pest wait two or three days and I'm doing a potassium spray. That's gonna be my comfrey foliar spray. I wait two days 
and I come back and I hit them with a nitrogen and a phosphorus boost. That is coming from the rabbit urine, okay? So it's gonna meet your nitrogen and your phosphorus needs for the whole season. But you need to start spraying them as soon as either your direct seed breaks the soil or your transplant has been in the ground for one week. You start spraying everything, guys. You don't wait till the plant's this tall to take care of a problem. You get ahead of it, okay? So I hope that this is not confusing. Let me tell you guys something about rabbit urine. America is behind. We are so behind the African continent. We are so behind. What they're doing with rabbit urine in Africa is a game changer. They are out producing us with more nutrient-based foods, totally organic. They're doing it with rabbit manure and rabbit urine. Okay, because I'm like on all these channels and like I find it tremendously interesting. But what I find interesting is that they're using whatever they have in their hands. Like they have figured out that they can easily raise rabbits and feed them with forage that they grow in Africa. They don't even worry about pellets. Like they're feeding these rabbits completely different than we do here in America. The cool thing is that they have realized that nitrogen fertilizer is extremely expensive and it can be toxic to waterways and to the soil. Here's what I mean. When you are using commercial triple 13, triple 20, whatever it is, it's gonna leave a salt concentration in your soil. Over time, you're actually working against yourself because now you have to use more and more fertilizer to grow the same amount of crops that you grew last year because you're killing your microbiology and you're assaulting your own earth. Guys, all I'm gonna tell you is go look in the Bible. When God salted Sodom and Gomorrah, nothing grew there ever again. Salt is not what you want in your garden. Not that amount of salt, okay? So if you live in an area that doesn't rain a whole lot, you're gonna have a higher salt concentration from co commercial fertilizers than say I do here in Southeast Louisiana where I'm getting rain pretty much every week to two weeks, sometimes every day for a month. It's gonna flush my soil. You're not getting that benefit in more arid areas. So using commercial fertilizers can be a complete killer to your garden. So the thing about using rabbit urine, rabbit urine will actually, if you spray it around the root zone of your plants and just over the soil where you're going to garden, it will actually correct your pH for you and flush the salt out of the soil. What? I mean, come on. The scientific studies that I have been reading from Africa are all inspiring. It just goes to show you that it does not matter what you have, that there's something already on your property. There's a system already working for you. You simply need to figure out what that is and how to harvest it, how to harness the energy from it, and how to use it to your benefit, guys. We have got to start thinking outside of the box. I have rabbits year round. So why would I not use what I already have? Why would I not use rabbit urine? Like, why, why would I buy triple 13 when I don't need it? I grew a quarter acre no-till garden the first season and grew thousands of pounds of food in Southeast Louisiana on compacted clay. And I never put the first commercial fertilizer out there. I never used the first commercial pesticide of any sort, nor did I use fungicides. Guys, there is a way to do it. I hope you get you some rabbits, even if you don't have the heart to kill them and eat them. Let me tell you, when you get an overabundance, there are processors that will take them. They need to be white or gray, like white with gray tips or white with black tips. They do not like colored rabbits from processors. So if you're gonna go into this, go into this without being like, well, I want colored rabbits. I want a mini Rex. Stop all that. Give you some New Zealand whites. Breed them. If you're not going to eat them, feed them to your dogs. Now you're taking care of, you don't have to feed your dogs commercialized dog food as much anymore, right? Feed the organs to your dogs. 
If your dog's having heart issues, feed him rabbit hearts because whatever enzymes created that heart, your dog needs it to heal his. Whatever vitamins it took to create that rabbit's heart, your dog needs it to heal his. These concepts were known by our forefathers, but we have lost the knowledge in a, in a consuming nation. We just wanna buy because somebody told me that if I put seaweed in my garden, I'll have the best garden ever. Does seaweed grow naturally near you? I mean, are you buying ocean? I'm just asking, <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm telling you to use the things that you have in your natural environment. Rabbits can be raised anywhere in the world. Their urine is amazing. I hope that you guys take this information and figure it out for yourselves. Do your own research. Tell people that they wanna argue with me about rabbit urine. I'm like, but have you ever even looked it up? Have you looked at these African universities and what they're doing there where the chemical companies aren't in control of the ag centers? Because guys, if you know anything about Louisiana, look at LSU and I hate to say it because I love Southern to death, Southern too. There's a lot of money being pumped into those ag centers and educational facilities from the chemical companies in Louisiana. So the scientific papers come out of there are gonna lean to where the funding wants it to lean. I'm sorry, that's the truth, okay? So you need to pull from old knowledge or from countries where they aren't swayed by that. These are just people figuring it out for themselves. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I figured it out for myself last year. You're welcome to come and tour in July and August when our gardens are thriving here, only being watered every 34 days, never commercial fertilizers, never commercial pesticides, never commercial fungicides. We're doing it with everything that God has already put in our hands. I hope that this helps you. I hope that you go out there and you think outside of the box and you bust through the ceiling and you do it different and that you are multiplied because of it. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.